Hey guys, it's your official Wrestle Gamer Double B Billy Boudreau coming at you with another video straight from Blog TV and YouTube. Now, it's with a heavy heart that I make this video because those of you who don't know it by now, the New Orleans Saints were defeated by the Seattle Seahawks in the first round of the playoffs by a score, if I remember correctly, 41 to 30. And so that pretty much that's it for the Saints this year. You know, a lot of people, I know a lot of people out there are saying, yay, the Saints aren't going to make it this year. We don't have to hear about the Saints anymore. Now, I'm, I'm a big Saints fan myself, so I just want to take the time to, to take a look back at their season, talk a little bit about the year they had and, and everything like that. Um, they had a great run this year. You know, I think one of the things that hurt them the most was injuries and the fact that the running attack they had this year for the New Orleans Saints wasn't as I guess you would say prevalent, or I guess you would say that as it was last year. Last year they had a, a better running attack. They had a more fearsome running attack, the New Orleans Saints had, than they did this year. I think that's one of their main flaws were this year was the fact they didn't have a, a, a very good running attack. I mean, Pierre Thomas, I believe he was injured the third week of the season. It's either the second or the third week, but it was very early in the season, and and Reggie Bush, you know, at times he's good, and some, at times you just might want to take a big baseball bat and hit him right in the head, saying, go that way, not side to side, go that way. So, but um, they, ha they had a, a lot of great games. Um, I know for a fact the video I did here, let me talk about a few things, the Saints Reactions videos I've done. Um, I know one video I've done is when the Saints lost to the Cleveland Browns, and for the life of me, I have, I'm not complaining about the fact that it has nearly 500 views. The thing is, I'd like to know why it has so many views. I mean, is it the fact that people just want to see a Saints fan sulking that the Saints lost to the Cleveland Browns back on October 24th? Was that the whole reason why they wanted to see that video? Or is it the fact that, I, that we actually had my first troll on YouTube? And thanks to uh, everybody on the WGS team, that troll has canceled his YouTube account. So, you should know better, guys. Now, it was a weird season this year. Considering, in fact, the NFC South, would you would have to consider the NFC South to have the strongest division out of the entire NFL. I mean, look at that. You had Atlanta 12-2, and two, the Saints, if I remember correctly, 11-5. and five. Then you had Tampa right below them. I think they were like eight, eight and six or nine and six or something like that. And and then the Saints lost to the Seahawks, who had the worst record in the playoffs, seven and nine. I don't know. And uh, as we greet CM Styles here in the live blog TV chat room, how are you doing, CM Styles? You know, all I can say is it was a great year for the Saints. You know, there were some great games, some not-so-great games. When I, when you look back on it, there were a lot of things they could have done different. They could have had a better running attack, that's for sure. We did get a chance to see Chris Ivory. Now, let me tell you something about Chris Ivory. Chris Ivory has a lot of potential. He's a strong power back, but I think one of his main flaws would have to be ball control. Because he's kind of had some, he had fumbles, some very costly fumbles during the season that really cost the Saints the game. So I think that what they need to do with Chris Ivory during this off season is to work on ball control with him. If they can work on that with him, Chris Ivory has a very bright future for him in the NFL. I mean, you would have to say he had a pretty good. A pretty good first season, a pretty pretty good rookie season with the Saints. I mean, he, again, he has a lot of potential. But if they work on that ball control problem with Chris Ivory, he could be a very dangerous running back to everybody else in the NFL. But and the last thing I'm going to say, because I know I'm probably going to have everybody saying on our way, where you thought you, you said uh, the Saints lost, yeah. Of course I'm sad. Of course I'm disappointed. I wanted to see the Saints head back to the Super Bowl and defend their titles. Unfortunately, it's not going to happen. And 
the, st uh, the stats show that, you know, it's not very often the Super Bowl champions of one year go back to the Super Bowl the next year and successfully defend their championship. I believe it only happened one time, I think in 2001 with the Baltimore Ravens, I believe, if I'm remembering that correctly. But um, stats show that, other than that, the stats show that, you know, Super Bowl champions of one year don't make it to the Super Bowl the next year to defend their title. So, even though it did look like that for the New Orleans Saints, it just didn't happen. So that's pretty much the year. That's it for the year for the New Orleans Saints. I will say this. Nobody, nobody can take away Super Bowl 44 from the Saints. Nobody can take away last year. Nobody can take away that feeling we had last year when the New Orleans Saints became the Super Bowl champions for the very first time. So, with that being said, I'm Double B, Billy Boudreaux. Thank you very much for watching this video.